Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Addie and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the best chocolate cake. The best coconut cake you've ever tasted. Alright, but before we go any further, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification and follow me on social media. Let's bake. So to start off, in a light mixed mixing bowl, we're going to put a half cup of softened butter, half cup of vegetable oil, and then you pour in a cup and a half of granulated sugar. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hand mixer and I'm going to cream this for two minutes. Now that our wet ingredient is all creamy, I'm going to add six egg whites and I'm going to beat it in for about a minute, a minute and a half, and this will ensure that our cake is nice and fluffy. So making sure that we get a lot of air in our egg whites. All right, so we're done with our egg whites. It is nice and fluffy. I'm going to start with my strap. Then I'm going to add some coconut milk and some sour cream. Next, I'm going to put half a cup of coconut milk. And I'm using the type of coconut milk that has like little coconut chunks inside. So that's absolutely going to be amazing. Next, I'm going to put one fourth cup of sour cream. After the sour cream, I'm going to put in two tablespoons of coconut extract. All right, so next I'm going to put in three and a half cups of cake flour. I'm going to put in four teaspoons of baking powder. Okay, and then I'm going to put half a teaspoon of sea salt. All right guys, so next I'm going to be baking my cake in a four inch pan. These are very cute personal cake pans and our batter should make us about three or four sets. So I'm gonna fill this up about a little bit past halfway. And I'm going to bake at 350 for about 25 to 30 minutes. Now that our cake is nice and baked, I'm going to let it cool, leave it in the oven for about five minutes, let it rest, take it out, put it on a cooling rack, on a cooling rack, I'm going to cool my cakes for about 20 minutes. Then I'm going to frost my cake and then feather it with coconut flakes. So now it's time to work on our cake. So we already made our we already made our cream cheese frosting. Now that we are done frosting and we try to get it as smooth and shaped as we can, remember this does not have to be absolutely perfect being that we are going to be covering it in coconut. So this is just a base just to get a clean working surface because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, coconut flakes with a kitchen tweezer. I'm going to take it and just place it into the grooves. Try to fill in any holes that you see along the way so you don't have to come back and do it because by then it will be kind of overwhelming. So there's a little hole right here. I'm just going to take my tweezer and just stick this little piece of coconut flakes in there and that is perfect. Look at that. Here's the result. 
what I did was make a blooming flower with a top and just feathered the body with coconut flakes. And that's the end of our tutorial. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really, really appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Make sure that you are following me on social media and turn on your notification. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.